going on YouTube? How's it going? All right, some good finds today. Some st good stuff to go over. Sorry, I dropped something. Some uh, return case updates, rankings, alls, whatever you want to call it. So yeah, busy day today. I'll tell you what I did. First, let's use in the chat. Gail, you're here first. Going on grumpy. How's it going? Man, you guys were early. Scott L., Catherine, Pac-Man. How's it going, Adam? All right, Carolyn. Hey, what's up? All right, so uh, let's talk about so FBA stuff. What I'm trying to do now, as I've done before, is all I'm doing is uh, going into my phone, and I'm pulling up the app, and I'm scanning stuff. So that's kind of what I'm doing now. My conundrum is how long do I wait before I send stuff in? Now, what's going to happen is, as you guys know that do FBA already, um, those they're going to split shipments up anyway. So, for example, and I want to talk about rankings too. So, hey, Caesar, what's up? All right. So, for example, I got this today. Again, I look for stuff that's uh, that's still sealed. This thing's still sealed, brand new. Um, let me check what the rank is. So I could, I have a couple things I could send in. And all right, so this one, toys, five hundred thousand rank. I mean, it's not a lot of money, but um, I could sell it in new. So. You know, I just figured I'd try that out. I bought that for three dollars. Uh, it was actually on the car waiting to go out, so I picked it up anyway. Scott, nice. Bought a car for two, three bucks, sold for fifteen. See, the little flips like that are great. I love those little flips because, uh, you know, what's three dollars, four dollars? Rank too high for you, Scott. All right. I figured, why not? Right. Um, I don't have that much inventory in there yet. So uh, I just decided to buy some things. I'll ship it in and see what happens. All right, this right here I bought for $2. Again, not a large investment. It's a premium photo paper by Royal Brights. Yeah, they all add up. That's right, Pac Man. Uh, well, yeah, what's a good rank for toys, would you say? First stuff to move well. Um, so this one, so I have a question. So if I buy, see something that's sealed, the package design has changed, not on this one, but package design changes. Uh, for FBA, do they care about the package design, or is as long as it's the same UPC, does it matter? So this one, this one ranks out at 175,000 for office products. Again, that's kind of high, right? But I was looking at this, so this is a $15, $15 profit on this. Four Oaks is only says they would only do a hundred thousand in their toys. So yeah, two dollars for fifteen bucks. I did. Um, uh, let's see what I do. I did. Um, I ordered another wholesale lot, so I got that coming. Six more units. The stuff I'm ordering has a rank of three thousand in uh, games. So that's going well. It just takes a while to hit. Uh, but yeah, on the the question, hey Carrie, what's up? On the question, if the packaging change changes, but it's the same item, does FBA care? Uh, I would assume the customer might get a little weird. Uh, question it, but all right. So top one percent is uh, rank of fifty eight thousand. I will sell fast. Top three percent is one hundred and seventy three thousand in toys. So, I think mine was the top five percent. If I was looking at that sheet that you shared. So, I mean, it'll sit for a while. I'm okay with that. Uh, just get it out there. And the only issue that I'm finding is when Amazon has the buy box and no matter, they reprice you, no matter how much you price it. So that's kind of tough. All right. So video games, I picked these up for, again, $2.99 each. I'm going to list this one for 10 Again, it's, if you can find NCAA footballs, they don't make these a lot. Depending on the, the year and the system, it will be they'll be good to get. But uh, I picked it up just because of that. And plus, it's the all play. So good for kids. Uh, I'm going to list that for 10 on eBay, see what happens. 
These I was surprised about. Uh, 289,000 rank is the top five. Okay, so maybe I'm thinking a little lower. I don't know what I looked at then in terms of uh, – I forgot what I was looking at. All right, so these two games. Keep an eye out for these. Uh, NHL 2K11 and 2K10. I forget which one's which, but I think this one was 15 and this one was 20. Uh, I don't know why, but again, and it's complete, right? When you say complete for games – Complete means it has the case, right? Has the case in the booklet. You can see that uh, case, the insert. This one's kind of ripped, which I will put on there. But I was going to pass these up just because the 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 thing is, you never buy Madden games, you never buy EA Sports games. Those those don't sell. Those sell for dollars, if that. One, two, three bucks uh, before fees. So I was quite surprised these were selling for that. So if anyone finds that differently, but that's what I found, um, they sell pretty well. So I picked them up. I was quite surprised. All right, so that was from uh, that was from Goodwill. This last piece of clothing I got again. I go for sports logos, sports brands, sports jerseys. Size large, uh, size medium. Uh, it is a German Germany football team soccer team jersey. Uh, no stains, nothing. I mean, it's brand new. I was going to list this for 20. I have not searched comps yet, but again, this is brand new. So we'll see. But yeah, I, that was the last thing I picked up. So both of the, the sealed stuff's going to go on FBA. The top stuff's going to go on uh, eBay. So I picked that up after work. Uh, a couple case updates that I had. I don't know if you remember last night I talked about uh, someone bought something from me to a freight forwarder. And it's showing, it says, I forget what it says exactly. It says at po it's at at a delivery point or post office, it said. Because it went out in delivery and then I guess it came back. I don't think they, uh, they tried to deliver. Uh, Adam, I paid for the jersey. I paid three. Uh, let's see, gaming media, media special, sports. I paid two, three ninety nine. Sorry, I was looking at this. Three ninety nine for the jersey. Um, so I wrote the buyer and I said, "Hey, just go to your post office and pick it up." Well, the guy writes me and says, "Hey, I'm out, I don't live I don't live in the country. I'm out of I'm out of the country." So that's a freight forwarder. So what I do is uh i called ebay and i said hey this guy's a freight forwarder uh he says he can't go pick it up so basically you're gonna side with me well he opened a case against me and they said the case will stay open until the delivery points complete and they're pretty much going to side with me so i have to get more detail from the post office to see if they attempted delivery or the delivery point failed uh, once i show that and that the delivery kind of shows that that happened they said they'd side with me so I gotta wait that one out, which I'm okay with. The scratched CDs. So the scratched game I sent in, I said scratched all over the place, untested. I have to take the return on that one. They're saying um, because I said it didn't work anywhere, I figured uh, scratches everywhere would signify that. And as is, no returns would. Uh, but eBay said, you know, I have to take it based on that, which is dumb. Adam pulled the trigger on a basic store subscription. Nice. Hey, Demir, what's going on? Glad you have you guys here. Um, oh, the last one was uh, I tried. I was on the phone for an hour and a half last night on hold waiting to attempt to report the buyer that uh, – played my game and then said it didn't work anymore uh, with the groove in it that wasn't there anymore, but I was on hold for too long. So I figured at $15, I, I don't want to call back again. I spent an hour on hold, even though I was boxing stuff up, it was kind of annoying. Uh, I think I'm going to eat the $15 and just refund it. It's not at this point, it's not worth my time. I think, I don't know what you guys think. What, what's your break point in terms of time and price. Now, if it was a $50 item, uh, I'm I would definitely fight for it, but for 15 anything under 20, I think is kind of my point uh, I don't think I'm gonna fight it. I think I'm just gonna 
uh, refund it. Carolyn, watching you guys is a little fire to my butt. Listed my first item on eBay last night for the first time in four years. I sold it today. Spent $3 and sold it for $17. That's what we like to hear. Congrats, Carolyn. That's what I love about it. I mean, you know, I go watch videos. I listen to people. Uh, just like you guys, I get motivated. I, I uh, see what others are doing. And I think about how can I do it better? How can I take what little tip they gave me and expound on it and find stuff? So, yeah, going on Grumpy says time is money. Move on. I agree. Yeah, I'm, I'm just going like, to give it. It's not worth my time to be on hold for an hour again. Uh, Carrie saying let it go. So, yeah, that's the returns I had. Um, so it sucks, but returns part of the business. I always get mad when I get returns internally. But, you know, uh, five minutes after I get mad, I say, hey, for all the other 100 transactions that went smoothly, you know, you got to take the good with the bad. So that's kind of how I look at it. All right. So um, I did shop Goodwill online. I won. So I have I print I print all my stuff out uh, with my invoices with the prices. So when I put it in my spreadsheet, I put a number for each. I give each lot I win a number, and I'll do. I'm going to try and do another video on this because last time I did it, it failed. But I put a number on each auction I win or each stuff I buy. So this on my spreadsheet is going to be one lot number, and I just increment it up by one. So this online stuff that I paid for. It will be its own lot number. And I go through and I mark it up. I put the price I paid for the stuff. And uh, that's how I, I use these sheets. I also, remember, and I print them and keep them. And I, I, when I go back and do taxes, I can look at it as well as the spreadsheet that I do. So I want stuff online. Now, finally, they opened bins by me. And that's where I pick up my online stuff. Well, I walked into the bins and I looked around and it was all junk. I wasn't there for long, so I went on my lunch break, and it takes me 30 minutes to get there and 30 minutes to get back, there and back, right? So an hour. So I was waiting a good 15 minutes for them to gather up all, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight auctions that I combined. So they were probably looking for them. So as I was waiting, I walked through and looked at all the bins. Uh, I didn't find much, but I did find one thing, and, or, well, two things. So what I did was I found this. Now I, I have a DeWalt battery, but I have an 18 volt. And I tried to test it, but this is not an 18 volt, which I finally realized after I tried to stick the large battery in it. Uh, so I do not have a battery to test this. I'm wondering if I'm just gonna sell it test or untested for parts. But I bought this. And yeah, Adam, I bought a ton. And this. So this is the battery charger that goes with it. This is obviously the wire uh, cordless drill gun. This, so I paid total for both of these at the bins, $5.38. This alone goes for 20 bucks. So I'm, I'm gonna uh, triple my money, right? Uh, and then this, I haven't looked on comps of stuff that doesn't work on these, but I'm sure someone will buy this. The crappy part is I don't, I can't test if it works. So if it does work, I could probably double my money on this. Uh, Pac-Man, this looks like 20 volt. So this is 3 8 10 millimeter, uh, 12 volt. Did you say 12? No, no, this is 12. So my 18 volt batteries like double the size on the bottom. Uh, look for a cheap battery online. I could do that. So I missed something up top. Yeah, welcome to the bins. It's usually junk, but they're hidden gems. So I, I want to go back where I can spend an hour at least there and just walk around and just wait for stuff to come out. I don't know what you guys do at the bins, but uh, they we kept bringing stuff in and out, and I figured if I stayed there for a while, I might be able to find stuff. But tools, if you can find tools, tools sell well. Broken, working, find tools. Tools are awesome. Uh, Joey, I got a thick Superman comic at Goodwill this evening. I'm going for around $10 on eBay. So I added two other comics, start auction, $9 free ship. Yeah, that's the other thing I do. I look to pair things up. So I'll, I will win auctions. I'll win a console and games, and I'll potentially pair them up together and double my money that way. If you can't make your money solely just with the item. 
Joey says he spends around three hours when he goes. That's good. Good to know. Michelle spends 30 minutes. Yeah, so the the bins for me, even so for my work, it's 30 minutes. Probably for my house, it'll be maybe 40 to 30. So I, I don't know. I'll try it out. Backman goes in his lunch break. He always ends up being there too long. Yeah, that was that was me. I took 30 minutes extra too long. But I made up for it, and I'll make up for it tomorrow. All right, so let's go over these. This the last set I'm going to show you is what I bought uh, from the online, and I'll show you each price that I bid on it and what I took it for. All right, so it's in this huge box. Uh, let's, all right. So, again, systems are great. Game systems, I bought. This is a Wii system that I bought. Actually, there's two in here. So the first one I'm going to show you, I paid $36 total. Uh, what I pull out is going to be, uh, I do not tell my coworkers I resell. I mean, a few know, but I don't openly say, hey, guys, uh, I resell. Uh, I just, I mean, I haven't really brought it up. They never asked me, really. Don't forget to put your reseller certificate on. Uh, going on Grumpy, I'm in Columbus, to Adam's point. Yep, Columbus, Ohio. All right, so this first one, everything I bring out right now is going to be $36 total. So I got these wheels, and they're GameStop wheels. I mean, probably worth nothing. Two controllers, which is good, and they have the backs. So two Wii controllers. I need to look at the picture to make sure I pull out all the right stuff. All right. Uh, cords. So it has all the cords with it. The power cord and the AV cord. As well as the unit. So this unit is nice because it uh, has a lot of times with the Wii, as I'll show you in my next one, this, this pops off. And that usually does not around. And that pops off. And it's ripped off. So this is nice. This one's actually put together. So that one is great. So I got, wait, uh, two more things in this slot. Oh, this stuff's going to fall here. All right, the last thing I got in that lot was this game sells pretty well. I have it listed for 20, so I have duplicates now, which is nice. And hopefully the real, I forgot in the listing. So... Uh, this guy, I forgot. This is why I bought it. So Mario Kart was in the case. This game, with the case complete and directions, sells for uh, $25. I will be able to get good money for the disc only. I'm hoping the Family Feud is in the case, or in the, the system. So there's that, as well as Jeopardy. I just sold one of my versions of Jeopardy for $7.80. So that was one, and that one did. Well, that one has a power bar as well. So here's the power bar. Uh, the other system actually came with a GameCube controller, which I needed. So I bought a second uh, Nintendo Wii. Hold on, me. I'm gonna throw everything back in here. Second Nintendo Wii I got for um, thirty-three dollars. Maybe buy Family Feud without the case for cheap. True, I could do that, but that game Family Feud goes for up to 20, 15 to 20 bucks. So buying it for the case probably wouldn't do me much. I'm hoping it's in there. So GameCube game, I got a wheel with it, an actual Wii wheel. All the cores, the sensor bar. The problem with this one is this thing broke off, um, which I'm hoping is fine. Let's see how that's kind of busted. Uh, and then the front's still good. So I'm hoping that it's just a, a facial injury, so to say. Hoping it works. But I like that I got this because I have a GameCube without a controller. These are pretty expensive. <clears throat> Especially if you're looking for two GameCube controllers. If you see these, pick these up. Uh, Four Oaks Center. Gr going on Grumpy says, I pay too much for what? AJ, yes, this was all shop goodwill. Maybe buy, let's see. Four Oaks, me too, don't like to wait a long time for my items to sell. <clears throat> so that, we'll try on that. Plus, I have uh, the Wii. 
Yeah, I'm thinking with the extras. I have some games too, some no name games. I'm probably going to pair with it, so I should be okay. Uh, I know some you consoles only sell in the thirty dollar range, uh, but with the extras and the controllers and the games, I should be able to make a little profit. That wasn't good. All right, so what else did I get? All right, so how much do new Wii controllers go for on eBay? New Wii control or pre-owned? Let's see. Wii controllers pre-owned. Look up Wii control. I've never actually looked just for the controller. Um, I'm sure they go for pretty well. So. Uh, let's see brand new or new other in the box is about 25. I see a couple of sold for 18 pre-owned So I mean they're not cheap. So with the controllers and all that I should be okay There goes the profit that's right Chris on the auto box cases. Did you ship? Oh Demir, I'm sorry. I might have not you asked me a question. I think and I don't know if I answered you uh, on the out of box cases, did you ship it back? So out of box, you don't have to ship back. They don't ask for them, uh, which is kind of strange to me. Because if you want a new case, you could just go there and request a warranty. They've never asked for me to send them back, which is really weird. Unless they're charging my credit card and I don't know it, but I got to look. Uh, inventory lab, yes, I'll look at inventory lab because I know as my inventory grows, it's going to be crazier. Uh, so let's see. I got this Dave Ramsey book. This Dave Ramsey book sealed. Uh, I got this for $14. Uh, I don't, I probably won't make 14 on it, but, uh, I probably definitely won't, but it's sealed. I saw some out there going for 20 to 18, but I don't know. I doubt I'm gonna make my money on that. I kind of just bought it cause I probably will read it. Uh, I'm okay with that. Uh, what else did I get? Plus some of this stuff in here. So that was that. Okay. So now the good stuff's coming. All right. So I got. Hey, Diesel, what's up? I have PSP games. So I have five of them. Chess Master. Now, I'm probably going to sell these as a lot. I got these for $10, and I figured why not chance it? So I got Ratchet and Clank, Size Matters. I think I've seen that one sell pretty well. Uh, greatest Hits, Daxter. 300 to sell Chessmaster and Medal of Honor Heroes 2. I don't think I'll have an issue. I hopefully will double my money if I put them all together. Uh, there's a chance I took no one bid on it. Uh, I, the looks factory sealed to me, Scott, uh, but I couldn't verify it I mean but yeah it's a guess good point Scott so yeah these PSP games I mean I figured I'll take uh, so Barb what do you think on the is that what you said let me see the games uh, I think with for 10 bucks that's why I took a, a chance all right so I got that one so I got this set half off set Saturday, that's what I'm going to get more more games. All right, so this one I got for again, I got this for ten dollars. Uh, if anything, I'll sell it for fifteen. I'm hoping at least. I forgot I look. I thought I looked up comps, but Age of Empires. These are DS games and uh, Ninja Gaiden, Dragon Sword. So uh, again, I can open them. Yeah, so they're complete with the game in case. Pac-Man, yes, this, so each each price I tell you is the price that I paid for it. Uh, local pickup, it included uh, $12 tax and $16 handling. Um, so I paid $172 for everything I'm showing you uh, with the games, the Wii's, the books. Uh, no shipping because I picked all of it up. All right, let's see. That's that. There's two things in here that's really going to carry my profit on this. 
So some of this stuff I might break even or lose a couple bucks, which I'm okay with. Uh, there's two items that I haven't shown yet that I'm hoping will definitely carry me over. I did not pull the trigger on the JFJ yet. And I did not take the disc to GameStop. Not yet. Scott, I'll have a Nintendo Switch game, but no manuals, just the case and game. Nintendo Switch will sell well the game. What game is it, Scott? All right, so I have uh, Spiral Eternal Night. And again, I picked this one up, Mario DS. Mario DS, any types of Mario do well. Age of Empires. And if you want to get crazy, Personal Trainer Cooking. So that came in a pack of four. I paid $14. So $14 for that. All right, next one. I have three more. Three more lots I picked up. All right, so this I bought for, uh, again, 10 bucks. So a lot of 10 bucks, $10 wins. Uh, Nintendo Game or Game Boy Advance games, Yu-Gi-Oh, Lord of the Rings, and another Yu-Gi-Oh game. So if anything, I'll list them out there. I have a bunch of other Game Boy Advance games that I have up. Add this and increase the price, or probably make this own listing itself. Uh, I think it's Star Wars Battlefront Two. Yeah, you should be fine on that with just the game. You'll be all right. Own four and knock it down five bucks. That's what I would do. Yeah, Carol's. Hopefully, she's not dumpster diving. Uh, all right. So this next thing here. What really interested me about this item was it had the boxes. And it was in a pretty, it's in great condition. Um, this I paid $18 for. Uh, I forget what the comps were. I looked it up and it was more than 18 So it's a Polaroid land camera. Here if I can show you this. All right, so here they are. They're in the box. There you go. So this comes with an orange filter. A exposure meter and just to give you an idea it has it has the directions and there you go it has the the item on it all original packaging uh, and then let's see this one so then this one got that the box I mean this box is pristine I sold that for over a hundred bucks. Nice. So here's the camera, and look at that. I mean, it's pretty. It's been pretty well cared for. So open. So they opened it up and they showed it in the listing. There you go. That, and then they opened the front in the listing. There you go. It's pretty heavy. I mean, it's, but again, this thing's amazing. There's, it's, it looks like it was never even used. So I got, again, I got that for $18. Now, if I figure out how to close this thing, I might have to leave it open. There you go. That comes out. There you go. Look at that. That's kind of cool, right? So, yeah, there you go. All right. I don't know how to close this now. <laughs> AB, uh, Amazon or eBay? I will probably, I mean, I didn't look on Amazon. I didn't even think about Amazon for this. So, yeah. So, Carol, Carrie, you said you sold this for over 100 bucks. And uh, Scott, you said, what about, you think I could list that on, a, on Amazon? So, oh, there you go. There's that one. I'm going to have to YouTube how to open that thing now or close it. Oh, and what's kind of cool is, sorry, I feel like my contacts are, switch should be by the yellow part. Oh, by the yellow part. Is that this thing? To open, oh, there's directions. 
to open pull out chromum on bracket close push in on block centerpiece block centerpiece block centerpiece all right i don't want to take your time yeah demir i'm definitely going to research it carol sold it for 125 and did not have the box so what's nice about this one it has all the the original documents in here i mean as i drop stuff it has all the documents that came with it i mean it even has the the thing you mail in that says do not bend so it has everything in here look at that isn't that kind of cool Wherever that piece goes to yeah so it has everything all right all right so there you go there's that that's the first item and this one this one's pretty cool now I like scanners take pictures of all the paperwork yep paperwork box I will do all of that all right so this one this scanner Scanner this does well if you look for high and the high-end scanners. This is a Radio Shack scanner, which is okay I've seen this listed and sold for about a hundred dollars on uh, eBay Now it comes with the plug. I have not tested it yet original plug uh, It has the directions. I don't know if they're original but It's a thousand channel trunking desktop mobile scanner uh, So there you go um, it looks pretty good. I mean, it's used condition, obviously. Uh, but they, I think they said it powered up. So there you go. So this, this thing I paid $36 for. I've seen these sell used for, I think, $100. Uh, between $60 and $100. Bucks. All right, Demir says plug it in. All right, hold on. I got to unplug my Echo. All right, we'll give it a test right here. I need to have an extension, of course, because I have the wall back here. All right, let's plug this bad boy in and see what happens. All right, you guys ready for the moment of the truth? Even if not, I'll still sell it for parts, so I'm not too concerned of it not working. All right, so here we go. Plug in the back. This is like Marty McFly, right, when he plugs in the the power clock, the, the tower, the clock tower. Oh, there we go. Look at that. See if we can find some scheme. Yeah, there we go. So I'd say, oh, let me turn it off now. Here we go. Works great. Alexa, what time is it? The time is 10:33 p.m. See, I didn't unplug it. I unplugged something else. <laughs> All right, yeah. So that thing works. Oh, you can't make me say that. Now find a police channel. Yeah. All right. So, Alexa, yeah. I've heard that. Where's the place to hide a dead body? So, yeah, I figured those last two items, um, I think I'll do pretty well in those. I'll at least make my money back, I'm guessing. So, the other stuff. See, with the shop goodwill, what's kind of nice is a lot of times, a lot of the auctions, uh, are 10 bucks so a lot of times if they don't bid on it I'll just bid ten dollars and what I'll do is I'll go down the page and I will bid on everything that I want or that I think I want and uh, uh, at least and I'll see if I win it if I win it for ten bucks I'll take it right plus my local pickup it doesn't really cost me anything if I'm gonna sell it for at least 20 bucks I'll be okay but uh, they usually end around at least the ones I do in my state they end at like 8, 8 or 10 p.m., which is fine. <laughs> Carol says she said to call the police. Yeah, I heard about that kid that ordered a ton of uh, ton of toys off the, uh, the Alexa. Uh, Joey, look, yeah, I saw that picture. You had the Flyers pennant. I, uh, if you can take a closer picture of the name, uh, we can probably figure it out for you. 
Scott L had five hundred dollars in Amazon sales today. That's awesome. Uh, I had. Hey, Trezor Hustlers, what's up? I had one sale today, and it was my one wholesale item. It checked in and it sold within five minutes. So that led me to call up my person and say, "Order me another case of my product." Again, it's slow, it's low margin because it's electronics, but. I'm going to see how I can turn that into something. So let me check here. I have a lot of stuff getting checked in tomorrow. So I'm hoping uh, I'm hoping that stuff uh, will sell. Hey, how's it going? we got some new people coming in. Big Brother and Pick With Joy. What's up? All right, yeah, so that's it. Now, my one's been pending all day, which is kind of weird. So you can see there. Uh, there you go. Pending all day, but I figured by tonight it should clear up. I've read about them going crazy in terms of pending. All right. Catherine says, have you had time to look at the tablet mess? Not yet. Sorry. I will definitely check that out for you. Scott has 246 items on Amazon. Uh, I think I have uh, 20, 20 or 30 by right now. Plus with the other stuff I'm gonna send in. Uh, but yeah, Joey, put a closer picture. So yeah, guys, that's all I had. I had some my FBA stuff. I had the shop goodwill. So I'm hoping the cameras that other people have sold that camera, which is nice. Uh, the camera and the scanner will definitely take me over the hump. And I got to look at. I got to test that Guitar Hero that I showed you guys like three days ago. I haven't had time to test it. But I keep buying stuff. Uh, I've had uh, six sales today, about 150 bucks. So someone called you vampires. They, oh, treasure hustlers. Yeah, they don't sleep. What else? Sold a doll that I picked up for five plus 30, and then sold for 35 plus shipping. That's awesome. See, I love those finds. So I. I flipped one of my soccer jerseys that I bought for five. I flipped it for 40. And then you saw the cruise ship I sold. So I, that, that's the most fun thing for me is when you buy stuff for that much money and you make that much money on it. So that, that's the fun part, right? You can find something to make a, make a good profit on it. All right, guys. So that's all I had in terms of uh, stuff. Leave a comment down below. Michelle had eight sales. Nice. Join the Facebook group. And, uh, yeah, hit that like button. Thanks, Pac-Man. But if you have questions or anything, reach out. Hey, Mr. Sadie, what's up? Sorry, we're getting off here. I showed all my items. Go back, look at the video. Uh, thanks for coming on, and we'll catch you guys later. See ya.